there is something about a society of Qiyam. And Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, he said that it's the first thing that is taken away from the community in terms of worship. At tahajjud bil-layl is the night prayer and raf'u sawt the raising of the voices in qira'ah and the raising of the voices in recitation. And this is something that you even read about in history, subhanAllah, with Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi rahimahullah, right? That it's very famously narrated that he did not go forth towards Jerusalem until he walked at night and he saw all of the tents were alive with Qiyam. In the time of the Prophet Sallallahu he wanted to make sure that all of the homes were alive with Qiyam, including your house. Now, obviously, as you're praying, you're thinking about who is greater than the Prophet Sallallahu watching you. You're praying to Allah and you have the angels that are coming to you. But if you were there and the Prophet Sallallahu was listening to you, what would that do to you? First and foremost, you wanted to listen to his qira'ah. Um Hani radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, I used to sit on my roof and I used to listen to the qira'ah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But then the Prophet Sallallahu would go out and he would start to walk the streets and he would start to hear the recitation of his companions sometimes without letting them know that he was there. So Abu Qatada rahimahullah ta'ala, he narrates that the Prophet Sallallahu he went out one night and he found Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu praying in a very low voice. And then the Prophet Sallallahu went by the house of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and of course the voice of Umar radiallahu anhu was loud. So the next day when they met the Prophet Sallallahu together as was common, Rasulullah Sallallahu and Abu Bakr and Umar, the Prophet Sallallahu commented on their qira'ah. He said, Ya Abu Bakr, he said, I passed by your house last night and you were praying in such a low voice. His response to the Prophet Sallallahu Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Asma'atu man na'ajaytu. He said, I made him hear with whom I was holding that intimate conversation. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala could hear me even if my voice was very low. Then the Prophet وسلم, said to Umar anhu, Ya Umar, your voice was too loud as I passed by your house. He said, Ya Rasulullah, uqidhu al-wasnan wa atrudu shaytan He said, Ya Rasulullah, I'll wake up those who are lazy and I'll run out the shayateen. So it's just like what you would expect from Abu Bakr and Umar anhuma, and the beautiful complimentary behavior and character that they both had. So the Prophet وسلم, says to Abu Bakr anhu, to raise his voice and the Prophet وسلم, says to Umar anhu, to lower his voice. And by the way, that's why when the Prophet وسلم, was dying and he appointed Abu Bakr to lead, Aisha and Hafsa believed that Umar was better fit to lead because his voice was so loud anhu, and he would truly wipe out the shayateen with his qira'ah anhu. There's another incident where Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha mentions that she was late returning to the house after Salat al-Isha. So the Prophet sallallahu asked her, where were you? And she said to the Prophet sallallahu this is Aisha radiallahu anha. She said, I was listening to the recitation of one of your companions and I've never heard a voice like that recitation. So the Prophet sallallahu got up and I got up with him and the Prophet sallallahu said, let's go listen to him together. So Aisha radiallahu anha and the Prophet sallallahu are leaving the house to go and hear this particular qira'a at night. And when they went to the house that Aisha radiallahu anha identified and the Prophet sallallahu heard his voice, the Prophet sallallahu said, this is Salim, Mawla Abi Hudayfa, the freed slave of Abu Hudayfa. And he said, Alhamdulillah ladhi ja'ala fi ummati mithla hadha. All praises be to Allah who has put in my ummah like this man. SubhanAllah, would he say that about you sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? as he was passing by your house. This is such a beautiful testimony. You find other narrations, one uh, of Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa tells Abu Musa, he said, if you would have seen me last night, I was listening to your recitation of the Qur'an and I was standing outside your door and I was enjoying your recitation. And Abu Musa says, Ya Rasulullah, had I known, I would have beautified my voice further. And the Prophet sallallahu said that you've been given mizmar, you've been given a sweet voice, like the sweet voice of Dawood alayhi salam, the Prophet David. And then my favorite narration of them all, because there's a dua involved, is the one where Umar radiallahu anhu says that I, Abu Bakr and the Prophet sallallahu were walking at night and we had finished some of our affairs. So they were doing something else. And then they were walking back to their homes. And we passed by the house of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the one who would take the Qur'an fresh from the mouth of the Prophet sallallahu And the Prophet sallallahu stopped, so we stopped with him. And we stood outside the house of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, and we started to listen to his beautiful recitation. Remember, 
Ibn Mas'ud was the one who made the Prophet ﷺ cry with his recitation of Surah An-Nisa. And he doesn't know that outside his door are the Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr and Umar. So Ibn Mas'ud anhu is reciting and the Prophet ﷺ is not moving. He's listening to the whole recitation of Ibn Mas'ud. And then Ibn Mas'ud goes into his rukur and he goes into his sujood. And then Ibn Mas'ud anhu starts to make dua. And they know that Ibn Mas'ud is starting to make dua. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Sal tu'ta. Go ahead and ask and you will be given. Go ahead and ask and you will be given. And as Ibn Mas'ud is making dua, he says, Allahumma inni as'aluka imanan la yartad wa na'eeman la yanfad wa murafaqata nabiyika Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi a'la jannat al khuld. Oh Allah, I ask you for faith that is not taken away, for blessings that do not expire, and for the companionship of the Prophet وسلم, in the highest level of Jannah al Firdaus. And Rasulullah said, Ameen. And Umar anhu says, The next day I was so excited to go to Ibn Mas'ud and tell him, Do you know that the Prophet وسلم, said, Ameen to this dua of yours when we were listening to you last night? And as I got to Ibn Mas'ud, anhu, he said, Abu Bakr already beat you to it. And Umar anhu said, SubhanAllah. There is no good deed except that Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu beats me to it. Sallu alayhi Sallu alayhi Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam